Okay, so in this video, I am going to look at TV shows that has kind of connections, shared connections with the James Bond franchise. And when I mean shared connections, I mean in terms of cast members, maybe writers and producers that may have worked on certain TV shows and have worked on James Bond. Now, the first one TV show I'm going to be looking at is Penny Dreadful. Now, John Logan is the main show owner of that show. And himself, of course, was the writer of Skyfall and Spectre. Sam Mendes was the producer on Penny Dreadful, and he himself was the director of Spectre and Skyfall. Tim T. Dalton also features in Penny Dreadful. He himself was one of the main actors for James Bond in the 80s. And he himself played Malcolm Murray in Penny Dreadful. Ava Green plays Vanessa Ives, and she herself featured in Casino Royale as Vesper. Rory Kinnear played Frankenstein's creature, and he himself featured as Tanner in the Daniel Craig series of Bonds. Helen McCrory, who played Madame Calais in the second season of Penny Dreadful, she herself features in Skyfall. Now moving on from talking about Penny Dreadful, we're looking at another TV show, and that TV show would be Sherlock. Now David Arnold was one of the main composers of James Bond back in the 90s and his run ended in 2008 with Quantum of Solace. Now he himself started James Bond, composing James Bond in Tomorrow Never Dies. And of course he finished his run with, of course, Quantum of Solace. Now he is one of the main composers for BBC's Sherlock. Andrew Scott, who plays Jim Mariarty in Sherlock, he himself featured as C in Spectre. Lars Mikkelsen, who played Charles Magnusson, the lead antagonist of season 3, he himself is the brother of Mads Mikkelsen who featured in Casino Royale, who played Le Chief, the main villain of that film. Moving on from Sherlock, I'm going to have to talk about Game of Thrones. Now, this link is more cast-heavy rather than producers or writers or crew-heavy. This has quite a few actors from James Bond. Now, Julian Glover, who played Krista Duff in For Your Own Eyes Only, he plays Grandmaster Pycelle. Diane Rigg played Tracy in Your Majesty's Secret Service. She plays Olena Tyrell. Jonathan Price played Elliot Carver in Tomorrow Never Dies. He himself played the High Sparrow. Sean Bean played Alex Trevelyan in GoldenEye. And he plays Ned Stark in Game of Thrones. Toby Menzies played Villar in Casino Royale. And he's known for playing Edmer Tully in Game of Thrones. Max von Sindov played Blofeld in Never Say Never Again. He's he played a tree-eyed raven in Game of Thrones. Charles Dance played Claudus in For Your Own Eyes Only and played Tywin Lannister in Game of Thrones. Then moving on from Game of Thrones, I'm going to be looking at the incredibly underrated Banshee. Now this once again is more of a cast link rather than a crew link or a producer link. Now I'm looking at two of the lead kind of actors on Banshee. Ivana Milchevic, she plays Kerry Hopwell in Banshee, one of the main characters in the show. She herself featured in Casino Royale as Bond Girl by the name of Vilenka. Now Ulrich Thompson, who plays Kai Proctor in Banshee, he himself featured in The World Is Not Enough as a character by the name of Davidus. And moving on from, from Banshee, I'm going to be looking at Strike Back. Now William Lee played Colonel Moon in Die Day. He himself featured in Strike Back as a character by the name of One. Colin Sammons, who is famous for playing Charles Robinson in the Spirit Prison in James Bond series. He himself played a character by the name of James Middleton. Toby Stevens, who played Gustav Graves in Dying or Day, he also featured as a character in Strike Back. And that was, of course, the character was named Frank Arlington. There are just a few kind of links I've discovered in which a cast member, a producer or a crew role has a shared relationship with a TV show and a James Bond movie. Now you yourself may have discovered a few yourself and if you have, put it down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see.